welcome to Codus Diaries. Today we are going to learn how to create charts with Vue.js. There are two popular libraries available. One is Apex Charts and another one is Chart.js. However, while trying both of them, I have found it little hard to configure them and try it according to our needs. So I will show you another one which I have found. It's called Chartkick. It's really easy to use and absolutely made for beginners. So without further wasting time, let's move ahead and create a new Vue.js project and see how to implement and use it. Okay, so let me start with the Vue CLI. I hope you all know how to create a new Vue.js project. So I'm just skipping this part right now. Okay, so as you can see, our application is created. So let's go inside and install Chartkick. It's quite easy to install Chartkick. We will just do npm install view Chartkick and we will be using charges so charges again it will take a while to install so i am just skipping this part so here it is installed let's open our text editor and check out how to use it i will be using sublime text you can open your favorite one Okay, so let's go inside our app.view file. As you can see, the hello world component, the default one is already there. We don't need it. We will just create our charts right inside of app.view. So let's remove it first. There you go. It's removed right now. Now let's see how to create our charts. Let's go to main.js file and import our chart kick as well as chart.js. We can do it simply as import chart kick from chart kick and import chart from chart.js. Now the files are imported. We need to Add this line in order to use chart kick within our project. Okay, so it's done. Let's save it and go back to our app.view. We will be starting with a line chart. It's really simple to create a line chart with chart kick. We already have an inbuilt component called line chart. We just can write it and pass our data there. So we will be calling it chart data. Now let's create the chart set for our chart data. Okay, so chart data. I'm just putting some random data. Okay, so it's done. 
let's run our servers now okay so there you go the application is running on localhost well it's not running i guess we have missed some point let's check it out okay so within our main.js file we need to replace it with view chart kick okay let's go back now there you go so it will look same as chart.js now let's go back and try some other shot of charts now let's create a pie chart and place some data right here okay let's save it and see there you go it's quite simple to put up random data and create a chart within a while now let's see whether it's changing the data dynamically or not and will we bind a function here click function that will be calling update chart okay so we need to add methods here update chart and what we will do here we will just redefine our chart data variable and let's say I'm just copying the data and updating the values okay let's save it oops we have not given any value within our button so let's write here update data okay fine it's working well you can see the updated data right now so that's it guys you can just go ahead to the website chart kick and see how beautifully you can create charts within no time pie chart column chart bar chart area chart scatter chart and even the geo chart you can create any sort of chart and you will also find how to implement this sort of charts with Google charts so I will be adding this link below in the description of the video hope you have liked this video don't forget to share and subscribe thank you